Should we be judging Prime Minister on the basis of what he does or doesn't do with a cake? Well, that's not the... That's not the question. The question here is, were there a set of rules that the rest of us were following that they weren't? And it's as simple as that. And if it's, if it's in the end demonstrated and shown that they were breaking the rules, then they can't stay. It's as simple as that. It's not difficult. I mean, a lot of people had very difficult... We all went to old funerals, old things of people, and it was an incredibly difficult period. And to find out that, well, actually, there was something different happening inside Downing Street. There were parties after party, there was fun after fun, and they were joking about it, as you saw. Uh, that was the worst, and they were joking about it. Now, uh, that's... There, that there, there is, is an investigation going on with, with, on that, Greg, so we need to be a little bit careful oh, what we say about it. But the basic point is, did that make him a le less good Prime Minister? Yeah, well, I don't think he was a particularly good Prime Minister, anyway, but it did make him a less good Prime Minister because you couldn't believe him. And once you can't believe the Prime Minister... You can't stay in the job. And, and, and I think... I mean, I, I haven't yet to meet anyone who voted for Johnson last time, uh, who's, who's, uh, anyone who voted against him, who's changed their mind. And I think what has happened is there will be enough people who have changed their mind because of what he's done that they'll lose the next election with him. All right.